Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends we will start our simulation of a tanker vessel. As you can see a tanker vessel it's a really really complicated ship and we will start from the beginning from our emergency diesel generator. We will see some items we will discuss about and about this simulator as I have access this uh, simulator I have seen that they already play some authorized and some unauthorized uh, access and this simulator it's really now it's unaccessible it uh, seems to be close or it's only accessible for the Academy personnel so you can see all the videos uh, if you cannot take the access somehow you can see all the videos that I have recorded and let's quickly start let's go to our emergency diesel generator system as we have already discussed about this system how it works uh, there's a video about the emergency diesel generator which I tell about the tips and what items to be careful Today we will start our diesel generator with a hand pump so we will start to hand pumping to increase the pressure and then to rotate our diesel generator so it will be started so for the moment we do not have any of the exhaust fans we cannot run any fans because we need a supply from our emergency diesel generator to start and step by step give our vessel life so I will press and I will hold the left click of my mouse so the pressure will turn the hydraulic pressure will turn the engine first but for that I will need to switch on the power okay now we have available power I need to check if everything here is okay with our lube oil and cooling also and seems everything to be fine and ready so again okay nothing happens let's see what I have forget let's press the start button okay our generator is running with uh, the batteries so after confirm that everything is fine here we can see also the water temperature the lubricant pressure the water temperature still it's low but in five minutes we will see that it will be hot enough so after we we verify that everything is fine i will set also to automatic mode and i will go here to the control panel so also here uh, I will switch on the isolation breaker and we will connect our bus tie so it's close now we supply all the emergency uh, panel so here we can on the heaters also set in auto the control mode and bus tie okay and now we will go to our 440 feet panel and we will switch the heating the elevator which everything it's really really necessary as we can see here and it's a very very important thing that our emergency diesel generator supply a really really essential um, okay here's show breaker now 
really essential items like emergency fire pump and high form expansion so also we will start one transformer we will give supply to our funds and for now what i will do i because i am inside the emergency diesel generator room i will switch also the fan on but let's see which panel is it so here it's this transformer we will set also the ammeter and voltage meter to see that we have voltage there so we will supply some consoles here and more and as you can see as the amperage increases that means the load also increases to our diesel generator so navigational lights also are really really essential so everything is on here and let's see if our fan is turning so by switching that panel and by pressing here to 95 we are going direct to that panel and the charger also the battery is working here the transformer is working only one transformer we can use so the earth it's okay and now let's check again for 40 panel to see that everything is fine and let's give supply to our 220 volts the only thing okay 220 also it's on the important thing is to switch on everything so we will go next to our machinery and step by step we will set the cooling first of all the cooling and let's see of auxiliary engine how it looked like and for the moment okay and in the previous simulator also as you have seen we set our seawater cooling because our seawater cool down our central cooler and that's why it's really really important so we are located inside the port on the dock close close to the dock we are waterborne and i will open the sea chest uh, section okay this is probably some air for the sea chest okay let's open the sea chest the water passing here and going to our pumps which pump we will use okay let's see which one we can fit let's switch on the main switch of each pump Yeah, the preheaters will be turned on later we will have the supply from main generator and as we can see we cannot supply for the moment of these big pumps but anyway we will need to prepare the line so the water will be started from here we are going to this pump so next on we will open this valve and I will use number three cooling seawater pump. The water will go here and from this line we will open these two coolers. So from here let's see the low temperature um, diagram okay now for the moment the most necessary it's our central coolers let's open them both and let's open also the central cooling pumps all the discharge valves so everything is good here our controller is set to 36 degrees to keep 
and let's start from our pumps and check all the way all the diagram in meanwhile we can go back again to our emergency diesel generator so let's say that our third engineer is there and he monitors that everything goes fine the temperatures are in the range and after that when he will verify that everything is fine he can turn back and confirm to second engineer or to chief engineer that everything is fine in that section of the vessel so let's open also here let's open also to main boil cooler and also to this engine room coolers hydraulic boil okay for auxiliary boiler mgo it's not necessary let's open also for boiler water circulating pump because we are close there to not going up and down uh, this is the condensate for air conditioning plant let's open that also for the provision because in meanwhile probably chief cook will load some food in the next day so we will need also to prepare our refrigerating system as you can see also there is a shore connection for supply of cooling this is also a very very nice solution because if you are in dry dock you direct connect a cooling system to your um, demand of cooling let's say for the provi refrigerating provision or air condition because this one it will be needed to work also in the dry dock the air condition the lighting and uh, these pumps here will be stopped and probably some maintenance will be done here on the central cooler but anyway we are not in dry dock now we are going to prepare our vessel for sailing so just a reference about this shore connection so here later on we are going to our main compressor we will need to open also them and as we are passing from all the machineries we open all the valves that are necessary okay let's open also here and let's see the, our expansion tank level it's okay everything of this must be checked okay for heating steam drain cooler also we will open so all the water start to circulate a very very important thing okay this is workshop unit cooler also here we will start a, another thing also here you can open for the turbine it's really really good to circulate all the water through all the system because all the chemical that you have used and you will use uh, in the future because our vessel are new and we are on the delivery all the chemical will be circulated on the line and will keep it in good shape because if you will close the valves for one year or two years and will not operate some of the equipment it will be really really uh, the water will be uh, formulate some sediments or some local corrosion will be initiated so as you can see all the valves all the inlet valves and outlet valves are open and our cooling system are ready low temperature fresh water system now what we are doing we check also the sea water system to see again how the water enters here through the pump let's open also the other pumps so it will be not necessary to run up and down and they will be ready in case one pump will be tripped and the next valve which we will open it will be our overboard valve so after the cooling down of central coolers the water will be discharged overboard this is uh, the way how the sea water travels through the system from the cooling system so now everything is ready let's check our diesel generator number one let's 
Okay, open the power. Okay, power on. So let's see also that there is power available. Let's turn on all these switches. Okay, priming pumps, also everything on. Let's turn on them. So, okay, we will not set everything to standby for the moment. Let's see number two. Okay, here we have power. Let's see everything on. Let's see also number one now. Okay, power, it's available. So the power have reached and we will switch on all the generator. So we have our priming pump ready. So let's see where is our boil priming pump. It's here located. And let's see that all the valves are open. So everything is open. Let's see also how it this the Luboil circulated here. So it will go here and through the engine self cleaning filter. So let's turn also here the control panel. Let's check also that everything it's on. And this is 24 volts DC. It's also a very, very necessary to start. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is everything on. Okay. Let's see what else we will need to switch on. So we will have the supply. Okay, here we have on number one, our engine control power is used. Okay, DC power, lamp test. Okay, long test. It's also very, very necessary to see. Let's check now our number two diesel generator. Let's turn on. Okay. Number three, okay. So let's check now number one. Local, let's see from where we receive our fuel. So our fuel will be received from the diesel oil tank. So this is our number one diesel generator. Let's see, okay, diesel mixing tube here. This is the return and this is the supply. Okay. So with this valve must be open here because this is the inlet. So I will suction from here. I will change to diesel oil service tank. Okay, the three way will be changed. We will not use uh, the diesel cooler because our uh, outside temperature is 20 degrees. It's um, autumn. We will not use diesel oil cooler and with specs we are okay so also i will uh, there is a air driving diesel generator a uh, generator engine diesel oil pump if you will use it and in our case to use this pump here we will need to use the air so for the moment 
we need to start um, our air compressor where is located our air compressor let's see our air compressor system is here and also that one must be prepared because our diesel generator are starting with um, with air and the air that is necessary to start this kind of generator it's about 12 to 11 bars so let's see let's open all the valves that's necessary to fill this auxiliary air reservoir so we will open here okay for the moment we need a uh, for our diesel generators so the air will be traveled here and from air bottle will be came here so let's go back let's start our compressor and let's see which one okay better to set in remote which one fits from um, emergency panel number three main air compressor so it's on the power it's on number three let's go there okay manual so now it's in operation our compressor is working now the unloading valve is open and after the unloading valve will be closed we will see a increase or on the stages and our main compressor will be loaded you can see also that the amperage lift up so slowly slowly uh, our compressor will build the necessary pressure and through the time as the pressure increases also the amperage will be slightly increased because there will be much much higher load also the temperatures will be increased because the piston inside compress the air so there is a hot spots on the top of air compressor So as you can see here the pressure increases and let's go local to our diesel generator so there is also some pressure gauges and from there we can see that the pressure also start to increases so we have checked we have checked the fuel line system we have opened all the valves here and for the main engine still we will not use that one for the moment and let's see if we can start our diesel generator fuel diesel oil pump okay we have source we can start so we will not start we will not start by air Let's see, but there is also this kind of um, solution. As you can see, uh, our pump is running from here. It's also uh, the light has been changed. So now our fuel will be sucked from here. We'll pass this filter will pass also from the pump will increase the pressure to nine bars and will supply direct uh, our diesel generators and from there the return will go back again to mixing tube here and as you can see any kind of vapors will be or air that is trapped in the system will go back here to the generator uh, 
gas oil service tank and all the other uh, diesel will be sucked back again here so we can stop we can uh, reset stop uh, by left click and reset by uh, right and again press to start the system so as you can see this is a spring loaded valve and when there is some pressure it opens automatically so also from here it will be open and as you can see the fuel can go only one way from here and cannot go back so here we are fine we have our fuel running and also we have set our boiler running so let the diesel circulate through the system let's start also our boil priming pump let's see if our pump is running the pressure it's about 0 0.2 and we can see that our pump it's working it's deliver the oil through here there is also a cooler and will pass through the filters another thing and this is the last thing that we will do we set our jacket preheater and the pump so we can circulate the water and we will heat the water at necessary levels so we will have our generator heated and the best way to start it from the morning until the evening to leave the generator and all the materials heat and take all the expansion because the, all the spare parts of this huge equipment are really really big and as much as possible you give a proper time for heating of each component it will be really really necessary so we have preset also here some uh, controller valves of temperature to 85 degrees it's fine for such engines let's quickly see how our system is set so we have our expansion tank here what we'll need to open it's the way to our expansion tank to the top this valve mostly locates on the top of diesel generator as it shows here all the other valves it's open and it's coming from low temperature a fresh water system as we have seen we will open also this valve which is coming from the preheating system and the, re the return the water that goes out from the engine and come back here to this pump and to the preheater so what is going on this pump drag some of the water and circulate this circulate it around the engine and keep the engine warm when the engine is not working so let's start let's go to our panel here let's see if our preheater is working let's see preheater 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 let's go back let's see if the temperature increases so the, temp the temperature must be increases through the time but as you can see here the water start to circulate and it's going to be decreased let's see where is our preheater okay it's here the supply power it's on it's here it's working it shows that it's working probably the amount of water it's really really big that's why it will take time so for the moment we need to wait to see our engine to be hot to circulate to check
and if you have time for sure it is a good idea to check all the filters because before you run the pumps because you never know this is new vessel and will need to be checked step by step so the next video will be the start of our diesel generator and next on also will be uh, the next phase to supply our 440 volt from the main generator and next step will be the switch off or of emergency diesel generator if we have set it everything in automatic and our controllers are working everything will be switch automatically so dear friends see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe from adventure story channel bye bye